What up, folks? Boy BQ here with the Impact Lounge YouTube channel, Bound for Glory, this Saturday. Exciting stuff. We're going to get into a little, you know, review about this past impact on the Cool Factor podcast, but good go home show. Uh, I got I to give him props for it. Good, good go home show. But um, we'll talk about that later. What I want to talk to you guys right now, I'm sitting here thinking about, you know, potential of these knockouts tag team championships that we keep thinking may or may not pop up. I, I would imagine they're more likely to pop up than than not. But here are my two ways that I would introduce these titles. Because I do think they've lost steam as far as, you know, when they were doing the Slammiversary build, they were kind of tossing the potential of these tag team championships popping up too. Now, Slammiversary had a lot of buzz behind it, so the tag team titles were not necessary for the pay-per-view. But I think a lot of us expected that when Bound for Glory rolled around, you know, in order to match the level of excitement that Slammiversary had, that we would get something with the Knockouts Tag Team Championships. It only made sense. Uh, and that's not what's happened at all. As a matter of fact, the tag team aspect of the Knockouts division on televisions kind of, you know, kind of going away. It's kind of going down. We don't see it quite as much. We see it a little bit. Last week, we got the three-way match, you know, but it's not not as prominent as it once was. So sat there thought about what what, were, what are the ways that we could, you know, uh, it, they could be introduced where, where the buzz would be kind of built again and we could get excited about it. The first one, and this is the most unlikely, even though there's, there's probably a possibility of it, is with the Call Your Shot gauntlet. Um, I know that they're teasing that Rhino or Heath have to be part of the, the finish, right? I don't think it's a, a foregone conclusion that one of those two are going to win. Because if you can bring Father's Day, Father James and Mitchell from, from the dead, you can bring Rhino or Heath back to Impact Wrestling under contract. You feel me on that? They don't necessarily... The story of Heath signing doesn't necessarily have to conclude about for glory. There's a chance that they get screwed at the end. Could be by a you know, a surprise competitor. But what if it's by one of the knockouts? What if it's by Taya Valkyrie? And by calling her shot, you, you, I don't know how they could pull it off <laughs> exactly, but by calling her shot, she could actually introduce the tag team championships back into, into impact. Because last week, Josh, you know, and Josh has a habit of kind of forecasting things a little bit. That's why this came up. You know, I thought about it to begin with. Actually, uh, someone on Twitter mentioned it, mentioned it as well. But when Josh said, oh, if the, one of the knockouts win, I'd imagine they'd wrestle, they'd challenge for the knockouts championship. Like, it's almost like he possibly forecasted this a little bit by, by saying something that obvious. So I could see a scenario where, say, Ty Valkyrie somehow gets the win in this thing. And, you know, they find a way to bring the Knockouts Tag Team Championships. Now, that's a little messy because if she wins the Battle Royal, that means she should be, you know, given the titles because they're not active right now. You know what I mean? I don't think she's going to be like, okay, we're bringing back the championships uh, and then we feel like we're going to wrestle somebody for them. You know what I mean? I hope you understand what I'm going, where I'm going with it. But if a Knockout wins, there's, you know, Creative couldn't put their their hard hats on and find a way to bring, you know, to introduce these titles back. The other one that I'm thinking of, and it's real simple, but it's real effective. And it's just announcing it about for glory. And, uh, you know, the reason I say it's simple and effective is because, you know, we'll be watching a pay-per-view and they'll say, Hey, this is the next pay-per-view coming up. You know, whatever we're going to get in January, they're going to announce it. Usually they say where it is, but obviously they're most likely not going to do that this time around. But instead of just being, hey, we've got homecoming or we've got whatever the F coming in January, you announced that this pay-per-view is going to feature a uh, tournament for the titles or the finals for the titles or something like that. I was watching a NWA pay-per-view last year. I don't remember which one it was. Maybe Hard Times. And, you know, Stu Bennett made an announcement. And, you know, from under his desk, he he brings the TV championship. I believe it's a television championship um you know he pulls it out of a bag and he says you know at the next pay-per-view we will be crowning a television champion 
and you know the way that it was delivered on screen was was really buzzworthy the way they just the way they presented it was like oh crap you know now we're going to get the next several weeks of television leading up to the next pay-per-view and and to a climax you know what i mean so sometimes when they conclude a pay-per-view they're kind of like treading water for a couple months so if you announce at the pay-per-view hey this title the titles are coming back at the next pay-per-view now you have something to build with for the course of several months and it's different because it, it's we're going to get more knockout centric episodes which i think is a good thing you know what i mean so you know that's just me spitballing a few things are we going to get these titles back we don't really know i think we most likely will but i hope they just present it you know uh, announce it in a way that is buzzworthy rather than you know just th- some throwaway announcement i hope it's not something that they're oh we're you know uh we're going to do a tournament on Twitch that no one's watching. You know what I mean? So we'll see. Uh, just kind of spitballing some stuff. Sorry for wearing an AEW shirt. Oh, my gosh. Uh, join Dark Order. Um, my bad on that one. <laughs> I usually try to watch what I'm wearing in the show. So uh, that is it. I am your boy, BQ. Subscribe if you're a first-timer. And I'm out. Peace.